Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 31. So in this question we're told that if the player draws out a blue ball then they're going to lose the game. Since they have three picks, all of the balls must therefore be red if they're going to win. We're also told the probability that the player loses the game is 0.5. This means the probability they don't lose the game, or in this case wins the game, is also 0.5. So the probability of them winning is 0.5, and the only way to win is to get red red red, so the probability of red 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 is 0 0.5. We need to try and find an expression for the probability of getting red on all three goes. Now we're told at the start of the question there are three blue balls and the rest of them are red. So we're going to say that there are n balls in total. This would mean if there are three blue, there are n minus three red. So on the first pick there are n balls in total and n minus three of them are red, so the probability of picking a red will be n minus three, over n. Now we need to multiply this by the probability of getting a red on the second pick. When the player draws out the first ball, the ball is then returned to the bag along with another one of the same colour. So we got red on the first pick so we're going to add that back to the bag but also another red to go with it. So now the total amount of balls in the bag is one greater than it was before and there's also one more red than there was before. So the number of reds has increased from n minus 3 to n minus 2 and the total number of balls in the bag has increased from n to n plus 1. Then we would multiply this by the probability of getting a red on the final pick. Now on the second pick, once you've taken the ball, the ball is then removed along with two more balls of the same colour. So this time we're going to take out the red, and also two more reds. So the number of reds in the bag is decreased by 3, and also the total number of balls in the bag has decreased by 3 as well. So it will go from m minus 2 down to m minus 5 for red, and the total will go from n plus 1 down to n minus 2. So this is the probability of red, and then red, and then red again. And we know for this game this needs to equal 0 0.5. Fortunately these n minus 2s here will cancel out, so we're just left with this. We can write this as one single fraction, and then if we multiply both sides by this denominator n bracket n plus 1, we end up with this. Next I would expand the left hand side to get n squared minus 8n plus 15 and then keep the right hand side the same. Now to deal with this 0.5 on the right hand side I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So if I multiply the left side by 2 instead of n squared I get 2n squared, instead of negative 8n it's negative 16n and instead of plus 15 it's plus 30. On the right hand side if I multiply by 2 that will cancel out with the 0.5, so we're just left with n n plus 1, which we could also expand as n times n which is n squared and n times 1 which is n. Now if we subtract the terms on the right hand side from both sides to get all terms on the left. So if we take away n squared and take away n, we end up with n squared, take away 17n, plus 30 equals 0. This is a quadratic expression that factorises, it's n take away 15, n take away 2 equals 0, which gives you two solutions for n, n is 15 and n is 2. Now we need to disregard the bottom solution here because it says there are two balls total in the bag. We know this can't be true because at the start of the question we were told there are three blue balls, so there can't be two in total, it's not possible. So we lose that n equals 2 and we're left with n equals 15, which is the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.